Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to take notes using an app called Bear, which I use myself to take my own notes. If you're new, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. This app is only available on Apple devices, so we'll go to the App Store. If you want to know how I open it so quickly, then please check my other video on Alfred, which is a productivity app. You can see it up there in the toolbar. It'll be linked in the description box and uh, you'll find the link in the top right corner. Okay, moving on, let's go and search for Bear and download it. Since I already have it installed, it's showing me the option open. So for you, it's probably going to show install if you've not already installed it before. As you can see, they've given a preview of the app and the ratings are also quite high. So now I'll just go ahead and click open and here it is. Now it opens in this way because that's the last note that I used. So leave that aside. Let me show you the sidebar. It says notes and below that untagged notes, to do notes. Wait, let me just show you. Untagged notes means those notes which are not categorized by tags so for example this is a default note of uh, by the beer company itself so it's not uh, tagged i.e it doesn't have a category so um that's why it's in the untagged category under the notes heading so these notes are actually very useful if you want to know how to get started with the apps tips and tricks as you can see so they have these default notes already in the app when you open it for the first time so you can go through them so that you know how to use the app in a better way now let me just show you what happens if i add a tag so i write hashtag bear and all of a sudden on the side you can see this category or tag appears and when you click on it there's the note which i added the tag to so this is a way of organizing your notes into sections so i do it for my studies history and then below that know it Okay, so now that we're done with tags, let me show you the to-do area. So in this to-do area, when you create a note, it automatically adds like this checkbox. So for example, you can write things you have to do throughout the day. This is just some random stuff which I added. And yeah. So the next category under notes is today, which means any note that you edited like as of today. So these are the notes which I edited today. It shows you some of them from my history section, etc. And then locked notes are those which you add a password to. I'm using the free version of Bear, so I don't have the option to lock it. We'll come to that later. Now this is trash. Everyone knows what trash is. You can p permanently delete a note from trash also, as I'm doing right now. Okay, so next let me show you my tag. So this is my history tag. So all the notes that I write for history, I tag them with the word history so that they appear in the section. So yeah, you can see some of my notes in that. These are some of my notes for YouTube. As you can see, I've tagged it as know it. Oh, and another thing I forgot to tell you is that you can add two tags or more to one note. So for example, I write tag 2 and on the side, automatically tag 2 appears. Now if I delete it, it'll automatically disappear as well. So what I'm trying to say is that you can group notes into more than one tag. So for example, hashtag history, hashtag studies. So in both the studies and the history section, you'll have the same note. Now you might be wondering what is this H1 written on the side of the heading? Well, this is called markdown language and it's a way of typing. So basically, Bear uses this markdown language. As you can see, there's H1, H2, H3. So over here, this is H2. It's basically just smaller than H1 and then H3 is even smaller. As you can see, the words federal government have been made bold by me. And on the side, they're like asterisks, uh, asterisk. You might be able to see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I hope you can. So basically in Markdown, when you make something bold or italic, let's just say it's not the way it is in other apps. I'm quite unsure about how to explain this properly, but I hope you can go and search more about Markdown. I'll give the link in the description box. So over here on the side, there are some more features such as making words bold, italic, underlined, etc. Now, as you might see, there are some line separators which I've added and 
To do that, it's quite easy. Just click on the same button that I did right now and click on line separator. There's also a shortcut for it, but people might prefer to click on it using that button over there. Then you can even create a list, an ordered list, add a quote, add a to-do list, add some code. Now this is interesting. One second, let me just show you what it means by code. Now, for example, you're a coder and you want to write some code down. You can just choose this format and it's going to appear like this so that you can distinguish that this is a piece of code. There's also code block, which is like a huge piece of code, probably. I'm not too sure. And then there's mark. Mark basically means highlight. So it's for highlighting anything that might be important in your notes. Lastly, there is the option to add a file any file you want from your computer. So yeah, that's all you can do to customize your notes while you write them. Aside from that, there are some other features which are not directly related to creating your notes. So for example, over here you can change how the app looks. For example, this appearance over here could be like when you're writing your notes and you want to fully concentrate on just writing them. And then there are other options as well. Now, on the top over here, it shows you the date you created this, the file formats in which you can export it. Some of them say Pro because that's a Pro feature only for those who pay for the Pro version of this app. And yeah, then in these three dots, um, you can copy the note. You can um share it in different formats. You can open it in a new window. You can delete it, archive it or set a password as i said before you need to be a pro member to do that or you can even duplicate it so now for example you're done writing your notes you can always change the appearance back to how it was before as i did right now you can create another note add your heading and as you can see it has automatically added the tag history because we created the note inside the history section you can go ahead and delete it and see if you create one in the no id section it adds the no it tag by itself Now, as soon as you delete the node, it goes to trash. As you can see, both of these have appeared over here. So I'll just delete them. So now let's move on to the settings of this app. You can do a lot in settings, some of it, which I won't cover entirely. These are the general settings. You can turn off or on the markdown compatibility mode. Then there are some other settings such as autofill information when you're pasting web address, etc. These are not really that important um, for users, but what's important is what comes next, which is the themes. So yeah, this is the theme section. You can change the appearance of the Bear app as you want. You can make it dark. You can keep it light. It's up to you. And that's a really good feature because it allows you to customize the app the way you want it to be. Some people might like it to be dark. Some people might like it to be light, like me. There are also different uh, modes of the light um, version. There's red graphite and high contrast. But in the dark mode, there's not many free features. The others are pro features. As I said before, you have to pay for that. Then there's the editor where you can change the font that you would like to use, a font size, line height, line width, etc. Then there's sync if you want your notes to be synced with the device, but that's a pro feature. As it says over here, it's a pro feature. You have to pay for it and there's more information on the website, which I will link below in the description box. So that's it. Oh, also you can always collapse that side note thingy if you want it to look a bit more organized. and. Other than that, there are some features in the menu bar on top, but those are generally the same things which I told you before, except they can be accessed from the menu bar. Then there's this export feature. I'm just going to show you briefly so that you know how you can export your notes whenever you might want to. You can choose the location and um, you can name it. You can add tags. Then you can choose the way you want to export it. PDF and others are paid pro feature once again. You can also do the same thing the way I told you before by clicking the three dots on the uh, notes section. You can rewind and see that part. And then, of course, if you want any help, you can always click on the help button and type in whatever you want to know. Yeah, so that was it. That's the end of my video. Hope you like it. Don't forget to share it with others and also subscribe to my channel for more updates.